Once upon a time, in a magical kingdom of master storytellers, there arose a band of visionary magicians. Not content to simply watch the stories unfold. No, they, they wanted to play and be in the stories. So, these mavericks, they schemed, they plotted, they planned, until one day, they were ready. Ready to reveal to the world a new form of magical storytelling. My favorite imaginary game when I was a child is pretending like the whole floor is lava. When I was little, I, I used to, uh, I guess I used to pretend I was Spider-Man sometimes. And a friend and I would put on our moon boots and pretend that we were climbing on the moon. It would have had to do with space. I was kind of into war. I was a bellicose youngster. Sitting around the living room floor with my dad, I would try to build my own version of Disneyland out of Legos. My favorite imaginary game is one that my kids actually made up. They call it Monster Tag. It basically involves me being a monster and chasing them around. And just inventing our, our own games. I'd try to be uh, MacGyver. I'd pick spots on the ground and make sure that I didn't touch the lava. And having these huge monster battles with tanks and airplanes and stuff with my brother. I think that's where I got my love for um, creating games. We used to pin our blankets to our backs and put little uh, cups on our arms and pretend we're superheroes and ran around. My favorite Disney character has to be Stitch. I like Mr. Toad as a character. The Swedish chef with the Muppets. Uh, Rafiki by James Baxter. Would have to be Remy. Buzz Lightyear. And Baloo from The Jungle Book. I do like Steamboat Willie. I really like Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> uh, Kermit the Frog. Uh, Hunchback, um, of course, Glenn Keane's Willie the Operatic Whale. Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty. Um, she always was kind of scary, but I really liked her hat. I mean, how can you not like a character that's got acid for blood, bulletproof, fireproof? He's an abomination of nature. How can you not love that? The ideology that he represents, which is that anyone can achieve anything. I love the kind of the simplicity of his message, you know? It's kind of slow down, kind of enjoy life, and take time to notice the simple things. He doesn't know what's impossible. He doesn't know what he's incapable of. As far as he knows, he can, he can do anything. Borgie, 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 Borgie. <laughs> Borgie. Bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. <laughs> to infinity and beyond. Rafiki, when he goes, woo, woo, like that. I think people play games for a lot of different reasons. To see things, to do things that are beyond what we can do every day. People can have a, a, an immersive experience. To uh, attain a sense of mastery. People play games to try things that you just can't do in real life. We play games because we want to be entertained. Feeling like you have some control over this world. Learn more about ourselves. And it's a lot of fun. I think play is the main point of life. And you can do whatever you want. It's your time to be creative, to be imaginative, to explore all the different things that you want to do. I try not to take things too seriously. I always like to play. Well, I think if you don't play, then your, your life is probably not that much fun. Um, imagination is the seed for creativity. Uh, it's the seed for problem solving. If you didn't think beyond what you're doing right now, then you're probably not failing enough and then you're not learning enough. Finding what the problem is and figuring out uh, a great solution for it and, and doing it a unique way or throwing something out there that is unexpected. I would say the latest innovation is being able to connect uh, all types of different devices to these online worlds. One of the most obvious innovations was um, bringing 3D into the into Flash. This is the first time we've built a massively multiplayer game completely in Flash. We're about to come out with Pirates, this new privateering system which enables you to battle other players. The Kraken is going to be making some appearances. We've got some great programmers and animators making it feel like you're actually battling a many tentacled monster. When you're watching a movie, you're experiencing a story uh, that's being told to you. A game is different because you really are participating in the story and you're making the story happen. Well, I enjoy both playing games and watching movies. I think the big difference is uh, the ability to interact with the world. Toontown has always had a great fan base. 
it, that kind of slowly built. Uh, we have to keep in mind that sometimes these really, really simple mechanics and simple things uh, are the things that kids love. So right now the, the one that I'm most excited about is uh, Pirates Online. It uh, will one day be the most popular. Would have to be Hannah Montana. Um, nothing else really needs to be said. We've spent a lot of time with Pirates to try to design the GUI, the interface, so that it's intuitive for the player. The best part about it is the combat interface. There's this, this great system of combos where if you do one attack and then with the right time you do another attack, you can really stitch together all these attacks and do a lot of damage. So anything that can add to uh, role playing within mobile, including avatars, is very powerful. I'm working on developing a game for the tween girl market and it's just trying to capture that um, Hannah Montana crowd that there's so many of and kind of just make a game for girls. There's not, I mean, there's some games for girls out there, but I think we could make a really great one. Yeah, I really enjoy what I'm doing. I'd like to continue to keep pushing uh, our games to be the best they could be. I would personally love to create um, a full suite of uh, mobile casual games, wink wink. Um, so if anybody out there wants to make that happen, there we go. I think the thing that inspires me the most in my work is my daughter. Other people inspire me with my work. Uh, um, watching someone who has passion and diligence. Playing other games is probably the, the biggest inspiration for making our games. Whenever I get a chance to use my vacation time, <laughs> I like to go to Europe and see the cities and the history and the art there. There's nothing better than hearing people come up to you or send you notes saying that they really love what you're doing. We'll consider what we've done a success if a lot of people like it. I measure success at work uh, when all my bosses are totally smiling and nobody had to uh, yell at each other. We take the time and try to preserve the culture of humor and uh, preserve and fun. My personal hero is definitely my dad and it's just because of who he is and he's, he's just the most genuine, honest, authentic person that I know. One quote I like is by John Lennon who said that life is what happens while you're making other plans. One of the, one of the guys I really respect, honestly without sounding corny, is Walt Disney. My grandmother is my hero. She, um, she was just a wonderful person who embraced life, who was always very supportive of me. It sounds silly, but it's my dad. Um, he could do anything. He could build anything. He could create anything. And while I know he made sacrifices, I don't recall him ever complaining. My personal hero would have to be Warren Buffett. The most fun I've had at work is probably going to Las Vegas for CES and uh, what happens in Vegas will have to stay in Vegas. I'm glad my boss is Mickey Mouse, so I'm good. Slave in the magic mirror, I command thee from the farthest place. Come through wind and darkness, let me see thy face. What would thy knowest now, my queen? Magic mirror on the wall, tell me, who is the coolest game master of them all? Famed is thy game, majesty, but hold, a fair team I do see. Codes cannot hide their talented touch. Alas, they are more savvy than thee. Alas for them, mirror! I command thee, tell me their names. Background blue is royal blood. Games coming at you in a flood. Widgets quick and gooey fair. It's Disney online! When you wish upon a star Makes no difference who you are Anything your heart Desire will come to you. If your heart is in your dreams, no request is too extreme. When you wish upon a star, <laughs> like a bolt out of the blue, fate steps in to see you through. When you wish upon a star, your dreams come true.